down the activity anyway all right so let's make a let's make a wedge thing so okay so what wedge will do is it will allow you to set a whole bunch of random parameters and then just apply them to anything we did in here manually let's make it top network so again top stands for task operators so Basically, yeah, task operator. So you're gonna do this if you uh, if you want to automate stuff. So this is how you do wedging nowadays. So there used to be another way to to do wedging. So wedging is basically randomizing of parameters at render time or at simulation time. But the previous way of doing wedging was not really yet user friendly. I mean, it worked, but it wasn't really user friendly. Well, this new way is super user friendly. So let's let's do it. Let's uh let's grab the let's go in here. So let's just do this in here. You can sort of see what we're doing. Let's type wedge. All right. So now we have a wedge here, and wedging is just super useful for generating a whole bunch of different models or designs. But also, if you're let's say if you're gonna do if we're gonna do simulation later. Uh, so again, like I mentioned in this course, we're not going to have any simulation, but let's say later down the line, you do like uh, a, a, a building collapsing or something. Then, I mean, you might set up a simulation that takes up an hour to render, like to uh, to simulate. And then you're going to come back in the, during the day and you're like, yeah, I'm not sure if I actually like this thing. Then you can sim it again. Or you could say, well, I mean, I'm going to be asleep anyway for a couple of hours. I'm going to be out of the office for the next 10 hours, uh, 12 hours. Let's run eight wedges. So then when you come back in the morning, you can just look through all of your different wedges and just like see, okay, oh, I like I like this one the best. Just see which, uh, uh, which values the, the wedge generated. And you can just even even remove the wedge if you want to and just keep working on those values but it's just a very easy way to uh yeah to sort of just randomize your stuff or like let's say you have to generate like a whole city full of buildings instead of just manually tweaking the parameters into something you like you can just like generate a thousand buildings and then just like check through it to see which ones you like the most so anyway so let's do a couple of wedges let's put this to 10 maybe for now and let's say, okay, which attributes do we want to wedge? So let's have a look. What do we want to wedge? All right, so maybe you want to like change the amount of generations. So maybe we want to have a minimum of uh, like, maybe like three, and then a maximum of uh, 10 or something. All right, so what we can do is we're going to say plus, so we're going to add a new wedge. We're going to call it where we call it gen. It's going to be between 3 and 10, like we said before. It's going to be random samples, so we want to do random. And what you can just do here is to type add gen. So then, and now you can see it disappeared because now it will be set to zero because we haven't cooked this yet. So if we select our wedge, if you right, right click, you can see uh, cook selected node or dirty and cooked is selected node. So dirty, so dirty means that you're um, gonna remove any of the cooks of it from it that it did, and then recook it. And cook is just cooking the whole thing. So if we, uh, the hotkeys for those are Shift V and Shift D. So if I select the wedge now and press Shift V, you can see ten dots appeared. So if I click these dots, you can see each of these dots represent a random value now inside of the generations. So now I'm randomly randomly exporting these variations. All right, so let's uh, watch some more stuff, shall we? All right, so let's go to the width. All right, what do we wanna what do we wanna randomize? Let's add, let's uh, do a random thickness. Type thickness. Want it to be maybe between 
0.1 and 0.45, maybe something like that. Random samples, call it at thickness. Let's cook. And you can see that the thickness is random as well. Perfect. And let's do some more stuff. Amplitude for the noise. M. Between. Uh, maybe between 0 to 3, random samples, at app. Yep. Let's just add some more stuff before we start cooking. So let's do that one. Let's do another one. Let's do roughness. Rough. Between 0 to 2 and 0 to 8. Random samples. At rough. Let's do frequency. Again, you can do this any way you like. I'm just showing how this can sort of work, but between one and four, maybe. Random samples. So if you don't do random samples, it will just uh, go each, each iteration. So like, let's say if I don't do a random frequency, let's cook it, uh, let's dirty it, and cook it. So what it then will do is, oh wait, I need to, that what it let me just add this and then you can see what I mean. So add freak freak let's get tricky. All right. So then what it will do is we will start at I need to uh, start at zero now because it's set to zero to one. And this one will be 0 0.1, 0 0.2. So we'll just increment between 0 to 1. If I do random samples, and it will just be random for every every wedge. So I prefer to do that now. So let's do a frequency, maybe random between 1. Um, I think we need a higher base frequency. All right, perfect. So yeah, some more stuff. So just keep adding this stuff. Um, so yeah, what, we, what more can we add? We can add a... Uh, a band to twist or something twist between 0 and 45 twist what more do we want we have a second noise here we can just i guess use the ones that we had already So this is going to be a little bit too extreme. We can still use it if we just type maybe divide what we had there by three. And this needs to be higher. So maybe times three, times three, times three, divided by eight, divided by 10. So we, get, we could also do re completely random values, but, uh, way too much way too much all right let's do the free change the frequency in the amplitude let's change the amplitude to be maximum of 0.1 okay. all right so i'm saying i kind of like this for now right so now let's maybe cache some stuff.
Oh, 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 oh,